I certainly would appreciate the offer by Venezuela and Ecuador and Bolivia. But considering the actions that have been taken, uh, particularly with, with, with down, uh, grounding uh, Evo Morales air aircraft when they thought my son was on that, that I feel that Russia has the strength and resolve and conviction to protect my son, to keep him out of the reach of those who would wish him harm. That's why I would, if it were me, I would stay in Russia. And that's what I hope that my son will do. In terms of America, my son has passed, so to speak, the torch of democracy. Mm -hmm. he, he has shared information with us and with the media, uh, primarily, uh, through The Guardian. And that information now, it's up to the American people how we process that and what we do with that. He's pretty much done with that at this point. Uh, I would like to see him in Russia. I, I want him to, uh, to be healthy. And uh, I'm anxious, anxious to talk to him. The FBI had offered me the opportunity. They had asked me if I wanted to fly to Moscow some time ago. And under the circumstances, I did not want to go. Uh, so when I believe that there's value in Moscow, uh, for me to see my son, I, I would like to go visit him. Yes. Millions of people have learned uh, the truth uh, thanks to your son. Uh, are you proud of him? As an American citizen, I am absolutely thankful for what he did. And as many who have called me uh, uh, active duty military, so many folks who have called me and said I should be proud of my son as a father. I love my son. I love my son. I wish my son could have simply continued to do his job, uh, stay safe, stay home, have grandchildren. Uh, but my son is a principled young man. He's a man of courage and what he saw he could not live with. It was a moral hazard. And I know that I raised him to do the right thing. Sometimes the right thing means personal sacrifice, and that's what he did. So absolutely, I'm proud of my son.